so how many of you have watched uh, game of thrones huh how many of you have watched only few so uh, how is this related to game of elimination huh what is the gist of game of thrones if you are a sincere aspirant you would have watched it ha <laughs> huh? who has been preparing since last 3 4 years very sincere only these people can watch that i have watched it just a uh, couple of months back so it means there's a lot only people who can spend so much of time who are into that preparation phase for so many years only they can watch it right so game of thrones and game of elimination first of all is there anything by the term game of elimination in upsc prelims how many believe that there is something known as elimination method yeah raise your hand okay i'll come back to that how many of you believe that there is a luck factor in uh, prelims exam hmm how many of you believe that there is a luck factor in clearing upsc prelims exam what percentage huh ha huh? 0.5 any other bidding number ha huh? 5% anything else yeah 6% so you all believe that this luck factor there is something known as uh, elimination method fine so in uh, today's session i'll not be taking much of your time i'll directly get into the uh, topic or agenda of today so what i'll be doing is uh, the method that i adopted and that helped me a lot uh, in all my attempts i've cleared prelims except for the last attempt uh, not the last last but one because there was still one more attempt for me but i didn't give it so only in that because probably because of the pressure all that it didn't happen but uh, the rest of the prelims are cleared and what worked out for me the uh, common sense the basic understanding see here i'll not be touching upon very conceptual uh, questions in fact i'll be giving you the papers as well so we'll be solving it together uh, the overall essence of the session is to simplify uh, the prelims uh, process make it very simple and give you confidence that you can also clear this exam this it's not a rocket science right i keep saying this it does not require a superman or a superwoman to clear this exam all that it requires is a normal human being like you and me who can use their common sense and clear this exam see that is the overall uh, agenda of today's session and also we at is baba have the target of 1000 uh, students giving mains next year so i want all of you who are here to be part of that so we want 1000 students minimum 1000 students only from is baba writing means so that is basically saying 1000 students of is baba clearing prelims at least so that is the minimum number that we have a target and we are working a lot on that so in fact based on that this time the pep program is more intensive i don't know how many of you know about pep program uh it's called prelims exclusive program which is also said to be one of one stop destination for all your prelims preparation needs beat with the classes beat with the uh, tests right all that uh, beat with the strategy be, uh, beat with uh, what not whatever whatever you need for prelims clear okay? so with that agenda we have started it and that is the reason we have started it earlier as well usually we start prelims uh, pep program in the month of jan but this time i have launched it uh, two months early so that it gives you a good pace to prepare and uh, also most importantly see clearing prelims gives you a lot of uh, advantages and confidence once you clear prelims right that three months between prelims and mains will not waste it at all people who have not cleared right they'll waste at least a year five six two three months goes on ranting upsc is very uh, what do you say uh, unpredictable right every day like i was right on all friend upsc cheated me etc etc two three months will go ranting on it after that uh, you will time you take time to get back to the normal self so by the time you realize it will be in the month of december or jan and again you will get into the prelims mode 
this is the major mistake students do because of which that continuous consistent preparation is not happening so you are just focusing on prelims for five months then again it goes if you are not clearing again you go back to the same cycle clear so this is what happens so that is the reason prelims if you clear the many advantages as i said the next three months between prelims and mains you will be occupied and people who have written mains their maturity their understanding of the exam is is little or very much higher compared to people who have not cleared prelims at all because this, this is from my own personal experience i'm telling you so they always make sure that at least the prelims first stage should be cleared that'll give you a lot of confidence and that will because and in fact that is the first step if you're not clearing that at all your upsc dream will not be fulfilled at all one side there are people who are not able to clear it consistently at the other side there are people who are able to do it consistently so what is the difference what do you think is the difference hmm there are students for them prelims is a cake walk there are students who i know personally as well who prepare in the last one month two months still clear the exam there are students who been preparing since last four years still not able to clear the exam why what do you think hmm understanding okay of the demand of the exam apart from that basically it is about how do you see the questions the same questions when you see in the exam hall and the same question that you see outside the exam hall that there is a difference right and the same question i mean uh, when once in the prime phase you would not have understood what is the gist of it right or when you are discussing with your friends you will get to know okay this is how i should have thought it's all about the thought process the way you think right so that is what the entire session will be focusing on clear uh, so this is what i keep saying a well read person with keen observation can crack this exam and prelims is all about identifying the right answer the answer is in front of you unlike mains and interview in mains you have to write everything from scratch uh, be it the introduction be it the facts be it the body be it the conclusion be it the committees whatever you want to you have to write it from the scratch but and interview also interview is actually even more tougher though the success rate if i go about it is 2% 22% and 32 33% so the uh, probability of clearing prelims is 2% in mains it becomes 22 to 23% and in interview it is 33% but the difficulty wise it is the other way around the difficulty wise it is the other way around wherein in the interview what happens because i don't think anybody has been to interview in this group in interview what happens you are asked a question you are given at the max 5 to 6 seconds to answer if not obviously they'll move to the next one right in mains what you can do is if you do not know that question number 3 you can write go to fourth go to seventh eighth come back again to three and write and complete the paper still get good marks it works out like that so if you actually look at that way if you look at the uh, difficulty uh, stage it is uh, easier side would be prelims actually because the answer is in front of you itself i know it is easier to say that and that same options is what will confuse you but still if you look at all the three phases prelims is the easiest phase compared to the mains and the interview phase clear so <coughs> common mistakes there are many common mistakes it can be your lack of revision lack of conceptual clarity i am not even touching upon that today so apart from see when i say uh, you are a sincere student how many people actually uh, give this exam hmm my question is how many people how many students every year give this exam huh what your zeros does not have value that doesn't mean you tell me some number odd number so it is 8 to 10 lakh people apply for the exam hardly 4 to 5 lakh people give the exam in that 10 to 12000 clear uh, prelims then it goes to 2500 then it comes to 700 to 800 this year it has increased because the number of seats have increased right that is the normal uh, trend so in this uh, 4 to 5 lakh people how many thing how many of you how many people are really sincere really hard working in this 4 to 5 lakh people yeah 40 to 50000 in that if you say 10000 clear it is basically 25% is the success rate it is not the 2% if you go by actual reasoning max all that 
and if you belong to that sincere hard working lot then it basically means you have high chances of clearing prelims clear so uh, let me forget about you not revising conceptual understanding all that this is more about uh, the then uh, the uh, the word that i have given is kct it is knowledge common sense and elimination technique see elim i the other time, i mean i think first question that i asked was how many of you believe in elimination method right elimination method works but not at all times that has to be compounded with your conceptual clarity and knowledge so first preference any question that is asked to me i would be giving importance to my knowledge knowledge base i'll try to eliminate based on my knowledge second preference if that is not working i'll try to use common sense see knowledge conceptual understanding basic understanding all that i'll be clubbing it to one first level so in elimination i have to follow this method three methods first preference should always be given to your conceptual understanding your knowledge or your basic understanding or general awareness you can call it by different names second preference will be given to your common sense the last preference should be given to the elimination words or in methods right the which i'll be explaining it later fine so this is how the preference should be given and the other apart from not using your common sense the most common mistake or the silly mistake that a st student does is overthinking many a times we see a very simple question and we tell ourselves how how can upsc ask such a simple question you try to complicate it you try to make it difficult and then finally come out to uh, come out of the exam hall and say this paper is very difficult in fact this year i think i was the only one who predicted that the cut off would be slightly higher i got a lot of negative comments as well see it is not like i'm happy to happy or sadistic person that the cut off should be high and you don't clear the exam the more the number of students clear it is good for us i keep saying this your success our success lies in your success so when that is the case and when we have interacted with the students we know from our experience what can be the at least of course we cannot predict the exact one at least slightly high slightly low at least that compared to the last year right so somebody said it cannot be it is below 80 do you think it will be below 80 no way it can be right see it's always easy to blame somebody they they commented you sit in an ac room you say this is the cut off and all <laughs> but practically we would have also interacted i'm not an insensible person or insane person who can go and just like that say this is the cut off clear so we would have also gone through that we we understand because i was also a student once upon a time it's not like just like that i'm fallen from heaven or some somebody like that and started teaching all that so we have also gone through the same journey as you have go, been through we have we have also gone through the ups and downs that you have been through we have also made certain mistakes and we don't want our students to commit the same mistakes that is the essence in which the sessions are taken the classes are taken or the guidance is given mistakes committed by us should not be committed by you people for us it is done we are done we there's no i mean there's no opportunity or even i had I, i left it off but for you there's a great opportunity to get into the service right yeah with that overthinking what happens when i read a question my my instinct or the pri the prima facie reason or the main reason or the immediate reason that is what you should give importance to prima facie or the main reason or the immediate reason should always be given first importance once you start overthinking what happens is it upsc understands that and they've given you that second option also so that is the reason where you end up with two options and because of there is no clarity in concepts you end up wronging marking always the wrong answer because this is something that students come to me and say sir i am all i am i can eliminate two options i am always left with two options finally either a or c b or d but whenever i mark 9 on 10 it is wrong i hope you have all experienced that right so that is the reason in that case you should always give importance to that immediate reason or the prima facie reason don't overthink and you feel that answer is right you mark it off clear we'll see we'll see with examples so this question what is the i, I hope all of you can uh, see this it's quite visible yeah what is the importance of developing chabar port by india what do you think is the answer for this 
See, these questions are very simple. Every year, at least 20 questions, 15 to 20 questions easily come from this lot. That is the chunk that I'm taking up. I'm not even, as I said, I'm not going to very conceptual questions on economics, all that. Very simple questions, common sensical questions. If without you preparing for UPSA also, I can answer to an extent. Of course, there are certain questions with basic understanding of geography, all that is required. But you being at least preparing in the last six months, such questions, you know what is, where is Iraq? Where is Chabar port? Huh? Yeah. So, with that knowledge, can you answer this? Huh? India will not depend C is. India will not depend on Pakistan. Also, there are students who have got confused with B also. Don't you think B is also right? Huh? At least a doubt that B can be right. There is a doubt. Yeah, you don't have to <laughs> uh, tell me, show that uh, you are so perfect. Uh, you have, we are all imperfect. It's uh, okay to commit mistakes, right? So, uh, uh, yeah, that's what this goes only when you start overthinking. When you start overthinking, you go to the B option. Usually, it is basically a connectivity based question wherein you are trying to avoid Pakistan or friendly neighbor, right? Uh, Gwadar port is built by China in Pakistan. So, we are trying to build some, I think, 70 kilometers or 100 kilometers from that, we are trying to build this one. So, obviously, what we are trying to do is it's a connectivity where we don't want to depend on Pakistan. But if you start overthinking, Obviously, it will help, it will help in better relationship for Arab countries, which are, which is rich in oil reserves. But immediate reason or the most important reason, that is what I am saying, don't overthink. The immediate reason, the prima facie reason or the first reason tells me it will not, India will not depend on Pakistan for access to Afghanistan. Sorry, yeah, this is the uh, link. This is Gwadar port from India to Chabar. There is nothing but a connectivity link. Clear? Always read geography, internal security, international with maps or with map. Always keep a map when you are reading international relations, internal security and geography. Right? It will it'll do a lot of good. I think one session was taken by Atiyab as well on geography. Right? So, that in this class combined together at least minimum 20 questions, you should be getting it right. Clear? And that makes a huge difference. That makes a huge difference provided you believe in it. That is also the other case. One of the implications of equality in society is the absence of. There are two options in which you can get confused here. Yeah. A and B are the options in which you can get confused. See, C and D is completely ruled out because competition, LD competition is required. Ideology, you can have different uh, ideologies, each person. That doesn't make any difference. It is more to do with privileges and restraints. What is restraint? Controlling somebody and controlling somebody can happen because of so and so reasons. It can be like just to make sure that the tribal culture is not uh, damaged or not touched upon. You can control people that is still fine. Privileges are nothing but special advantages given to certain section of people. Right. So, you need to know uh, even, see, even with proper English, I mean proper understanding of normal English also, you can actually get the answer right. Advantage given to certain section of people based on their caste, based on their uh, VIP, VIP culture, L1 Darshan, Tirupati. That's a privilege. Right? So, that is, I mean, that is what it says. So, that is actually against egalitarian society, to put it in very simple terms. Is that clear? Which of the following are envisaged by the right against exploitation in the constitution of India? For obviously, this. What is the answer here? See, it's a very simple, straightforward question. But there are students who have got, because it is exploitation, it can be, okay, prohibition, human being. So, they have marked all of the above as well. Right, that just because of the word exploitation, in fact, all the four comes under exploitation. But if you actually read polity and if you have that basic understanding, it tells 23, which article? 23 and 24 talks about forced labor and prohibition of employment in factories, right? So, th that's what, again, the word, just don't take it in that meaning. Again, knowledge should always be given first importance.
ओके दीज आर अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन वेर इन ओवर थिंकिंग कैन कॉज यू नेगेटिव स्कोर या सो दीज आर द्री एज वन इज एटीट्यूड वेन इज एटीट्यूड इट इज मोर टू डू विद से यू आर कंफ्रंटेड विद अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन से यू गेट अ पेपर एंड दैट स्टार्ट विथ हिस्ट्री इट कैन बी मेडिवल हिस्ट्री आर्ट एंड कल्चर एंड यू नॉट एबल टू आंसर द फर्स्ट टेन क्वेश्चन सो वॉट विल हैपन टू अ स्टूडेंट obviously the you will be low on confidence you will be low on confidence and that will impact the rest of the paper and for, if a person has the right attitude that person for example last year let's take last year ka questions there were one, one only one pair only two pairs only three pairs so there were six to seven questions students started saying the paper was tough because of the options given like that if you would have, if you are a smart chap right you would have left all the seven questions and that has happened that person my uh, his name is ayush and he has cleared even forest films he has left all those seven questions what i am trying to tell you is when it is tough for you provided you are a very sincere and hard working student it will be tough for every one so that if that is very confusing for you it would have confused a lot many students by luck or crook or crook somebody would have got one or two questions right there but it's always safe if you are really confused please leave that because still there are 93 questions for you to clear the exam right if you actually work out on the numbers say you are attempting let's take on an average you people attempt 80 questions and you get 20 wrong will you clear the exam say the cut off is around 100 90 to 100 or 100 only let's keep 100 it what is the score 80 you are attempting 20 you are getting it wrong Hmm, fifty-three is the net score. Fifty-three into two is still one not six. What I'm saying is, even out of eighty, you still have that leeway of getting twenty questions wrong. You don't have to be a topper in prelims. Nobody will even get to know. Even if you brag about it, it doesn't make any sense because you have not got the rank finally, right? So there are fine examples like uh, Tina Dabi, who has just touched the cutoff. Ira single was just cleared the cutoff by one mark, I, I suppose, and they went on to get rank one. So all that you have to do is relatively get the cutoff, right? So what I'm trying to tell you is the at the the kind of attitude you should have on the day of the exam, in the exam, all this. If it is difficult for you, don't worry. Go to the hundred question, come back hundred ninety nine, ninety eight, ninety seven, ninety six, or fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four. because it's all it's a prelims is a game of confidence the moment you get four to five questions straight that gives you a lot of confidence and that confidence carries to the next set of questions that is how prelims works it's not only about knowledge i would still say 60% is based on your knowledge 40% still is based on your mental toughness your calmness coolness all that aspects on that day clear so the right attitude matters a lot aptitude aptitude is nothing but skill set like say elimination method using your common sense using basic understanding you develop that skill of elimination because even the most well read person in any given exam can attempt only 35 to 45 in the first round usually we advise you to attempt at go for at least two rounds minimum at least two rounds right so in the first round when you are very 100% sure that boils down to only 35 to 45 only even if you are the brilliant lot sitting here brilliant of the lot sitting here clear the rest of the question that you attempt is all by the elimination method wherein your common sense comes to play your conceptual understanding comes to play your general awareness comes to play right then your common sense and finally your elimination method all that put together is what will actually help you clear this exam clear so that is your aptitude basically the skill set of elimination third one is absence of disturbance this is very important because the calm you are the cooler you are you will be able to recollect things in a better manner you will be able to retrieve things in a better manner so this are the three a's you should keep in mind when you are preparing for this exam is that clear yeah so in the market there are different names given to this elimination technique intelligent guess cheat codes right so in this uh, further session we will be seeing how this will really help us to what extent it will help us where it will not help us 
The first rule says extreme statements, words, and possibilities. How many, how many of you believe that the first rule helps? Yeah, not in all questions, but it'll help. It'll help provided that you first give importance to your basic understanding, knowledge, or common sense. Only after that, this can be applied. The word possibilities, right? This will help. In fact, see, uh, extreme statements are nothing but only, all, always, none. Drastically increase, drastically decrease. So these are the extreme statements given, right? So the so now UPC has started playing with even the extreme words. The possibility words are something that I can vouch for. Nine on ten, it will be right. Nine on ten, the possible words like could, may, some, few, right? This can be true. In fact, nine on ten, it will be true. It is not the same case with only, always like that. Clear. So this has more possibilities of getting the answer right, and especially in science and tech questions, like say you take artificial intelligence, ma uh, machine learning, all that. There are huge possibilities with the same technology. So that is the reason many a times that can be true. So only when the words possibilities come. Here, as I said, you have to give importance to your general awareness, general understanding also, and then only you have to take this chance. Clear. That is the first rule. Second rule: facts, numerical values always correct. Hmm. If there are facts, there is a rule. I don't know how many of you have looked into all this, but if you have not, please don't look into it. You will get more confused, and it will spoil your entire uh, approach to problems itself. Clear? So the second one: How many of you think that facts? Whenever facts are given, like ten percent, twenty percent, four thousand crores, crores, so many, so twenty-three thousand uh, kilometers. So, do you, how many of you think that son, when facts are given, it is always right? Because there are people who propagate. There's a propaganda on that as well. How many of you believe that this will get you right, get the answer right? Huh? None. Not sometimes here. Sometimes it is very rare. You are saying one on uh, ten. It is. See, please don't go with the rule two. I would blindly say, don't go with rule two. Rule one, we can give certain benefit of doubt, but rule two, please don't go with that. That has changed. There is nothing as such. Rule three, science and tech always. Uh, so there is one again, one more rule which says, whenever science and tech questions are given, always mark all of the above, all of the above. So how many of you believe that it's right? Please go. Don't go with rule three also. Two and three completely shun it off. Right, grammar. Sometimes this will help. For example, pyrolysis. What do you mean by pyrolysis? What is pyro? Fire, heat, fire, whatever. Lysis, breaking down. So energy, you are so any kind of energy that you are trying to break it down. So with that word, you can still get an answer right. We'll come across that question as well. So what I'm trying to say, grammar is with the, the usage of words that gives you an int. Clear. So when we have, when I explain it with examples, you will understand it better. But what I am saying is, this will give you to an extent right. This also to an extent right. I am not even saying all will give you hundred percent right answers. Again, first preference when you give it to your knowledge, conceptual understanding, basic understanding, then you can try out with this. So that is the reason the approach says KCT, knowledge, common sense. Fine. Last one should be the elimination elimination technique. Clear? Yeah. See here this question. Only, only, only. None of the elimination technique will work here. Clear? If somebody is foolish enough, will mark. There is no option also. Only, only, only. Right? So Himalayas are spread over five states. So what I am trying to say is here no technique will work. Here it is based on your knowledge, factual knowledge. Himalayas, it is not five. Easily, you can say it is more than five. It is around twelve to thirteen states. Western Ghats are spread over six six states, from all the way from Gujarat to Kerala. Some some people forget Goa, right? So then, uh, Pulikat Lake is spread over two states. That is the only statement that is right. Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So this is one option wherein you can say third statement is right. So the answer is. Three only. 
the answer is the only did you get this so upsc does play with these words so just be careful as i said always try to give importance to your knowledge common sense basic understanding i'm repeating this word so that it gets into your brain clear see in uh, any coaching institution for that matter including us right uh, the tests when we frame of course we also try to see the pattern and give you but more of the questions will be based on your checking your knowledge so don't leave that because that knowledge is very important for you to eliminate the rest of the answers you have to be so sound i mean so sound in polity so sound in geography history economics that will help you to get the answer right when the explanation is given please go through the explanation many a time through the explanation you there are questions framed in upsc clear see if i have to tell you if you can follow the pep program in and out the daily tests all that and are the famous most famous free initiative for prelims that is 60 day rapid revision series i can vouch that if you can you really sincere in that you can still clear the exam clear clear the prelims exam and last year is a testimony to it there are quite a few quite quite a many questions that had come even from 60 day revision that rapid revision series as well last time so pep is one program that has given us great results as i say uh, this deadly combination of the pep and the rapid revision series 60 day plan right current affairs please stick to one source whichever source you are comfortable right i would stay uh, see because i am from is by i am the founder of is by obviously i'll say my institution ka material is good and i and it is good nobody has even tested two materials you have to keep say this is month of november whatever x y z and is baba you keep and just read it once you will understand which material is good see to yourself don't just go with uh, the uh, seniors uh, whatever 2016 there was a time which had come which i also believe, uh, which i also have gone through it but that doesn't mean that after that if you have looked 17 18 19 20 21 22 how many questions have come from that particular source i don't want to mention that source also by default you know that source also so you are just mad you are just in that rat race right so try to see see things clearly by yourself rather than somebody telling you that this is worked out for him or her and all that you just keep all two three materials or say suppose you are getting confused with two materials read that monthly magazine of both the materials you will you yourself will understand be wise enough in at least selecting the source so i would still watch for our baba pedia current affairs the pep and uh, 60 day plan all these four sources right provided your basic static is sound enough you will definitely clear the prelims exam clear yeah going to this one as i said no no techniques work here here all the three things put together will work due to some reasons if there's a huge fall in the population of uh, species of butterflies what could be its likely consequences what is the answer for this oh d option fine what is the uh, uh, first statement yeah pollination of some plants could be adversely affected yeah is it right or wrong how many say it is wrong Hmm? How many say it is wrong? See, though it might be an extreme word, all that general common sense tells me it does affect pollination gets affected, right? So when I'm reading this question as a student of UPSC or a, as a civil service aspirant, I should also look into the role of bee bees in the ecosystem, the role of birds in the ecosystem. so all this plays an important role so th that is the reason i say you don't have to you should not just read the previous year question papers you have to study the previous year question papers through the previous year question papers it gives you a lot of hints it in fact there are many questions derived from the question, from the options given here from the statements given here that itself becomes a question the next year so that is the reason you need to study it when you are reading it you will be getting into so many other concepts so that is the reason the previous year question paper should be done on a daily basis spend 20 minutes every day on one paper always go in the reverse order 22 21 20 19 like that so today we'll be doing 20 19 and 18 tomorrow we'll be doing the last three years 20 uh, 20 21 22 clear 
uh, as i said only the things that come under basic understanding common sense and elimination technique only because in the pep strategy classes the peep i mean uh, the mentors who have cleared consistently for the four five attempts they'll be taking you through the, all the 100 questions here i've just picked up a few questions to just give you an give you more confidence that you can aram se clear prelims right so first is right there could be drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plants yeah there could be drastic if you actually play with the words you will get confused actually could is possible uh, drastic is uh, extreme some is again uh, possible so if you are trying to apply that this question is gone it's gone for a toss that is the reason you should also know which question to leave which question to apply this comes through practice right yeah and only upsc can frame such questions no institution could have framed such a beautiful line right that is the reason upsc is always upsc and if you are not getting this 99% would not have got this they would have left it and they would have gone to the next question if you are a sensible person who want to wants to clear this exam if you are a fool to continue next one more year you would have gone ahead with it right yeah this one because this is only talking about fungal infection in fact fungus is one of the feed of the butterfly but there are many others so i can i can still say it is wrong it could lead to a fall in the population of some species of this one this is true again this is some is a possible word apart from that also common sense tells me because see this bees butterflies whatever it is used for two things one is pollination second thing is pest control so all this comes under pest control so the answer for this is one and three that is c so here knowledge common sense elimination technique all the three things are used <coughs> in this question here knowledge will not help you this question knowledge will not help you let's see which method will help us with reference to agreement in unfcc whatever meeting which of the following statement is correct the agreement was signed by all the member countries of the un and it will go into effect in 2017 why is it wrong all and especially when it is environment no country will agree to it and you know what has been happening developed countries will not at all agree keep that in mind common sense basic understanding tells me the first statement is wrong second aims to okay whatever you are getting confused let's forget this let me go to third one and again when it one is gone you are left with only two only or two and three so i also know the other trick is try to see the options here what is happening oh so always try to see something which is common here say 3 3 is common in three statements try to see whether that first try to go with the option also especially environment and also don't skip any question i'll also tell you how uh, with certain examples though you might not know that context also try to read through it with your basic understanding you can still get that answer right right so here okay let me go to this one developed countries acknowledge their historical responsibility that itself is very false they will never ever accept uh, especially when us is in the game right when us china and all is in the game you should always keep that in mind okay historical is going to donate 1000 billion is a huge sum of money that they will not at all agree to it so this is gone three is gone one and three is gone two is the answer two only is the answer for this are you getting it yeah oleds what are the advantages so what is the answer for this i told you one thumb rule only elimination technique can help you here which which rule can i apply here it's a science and tech based question one it's not like when it's science and tech all of the i'm not telling you i'm telling you about rule 2 or 3 the uh, first option also in in sci i said in possibility word especially when it is science 9 on 10 it is right so the word possible words can can or pos possible so all the above 1 2 3 1 2 3 is the answer am i clear see i'm what i'm trying to tell you is you don't have to know that concept you don't have to uh, you do, it's not like you have read that some somewhere else your basic common sense 
certain elimination technique basic understanding general awareness there are questions like on the kitkat cover there was some question given and that was asked in upsc right some false or something like that on kitkat uh, chocolate cover right so again there say in news you would have listened to it right it's all again general awareness you are discussing with your friends you have seen somewhere when you have gone out all that is general awareness again so with that basic knowledge right you can mark this answers right you know about pet bottles whatever that expansion is very difficult to pronounce also pet bottles how many of you know about pet bottles hmm what is it used for can you store alcohol in that pet bottles are nothing but pepsi all that that those kind of bottles are nothing but pep bo pet bottles so there was a question on that in uh, 2022 so if you are if you are a keen observer right the i also said in initial if you have really observed things properly general awareness your keen observation will help you in getting some a few questions right and those few questions are enough to for you to clear the cut off again right okay so with that c is the answer this one i have given this example a lot many times in my regular sessions the coal question despite having large reserves of coal why does india import millions of tons of coal clear again even if you have read it from any geography book you will not get this answer right you, you uh, and of course you would not have googled to this extent right if you have googled you are an insane person right and you would have taken 4 years 5 years you are in the journey this is what it tells you because you do, you have a lot of time you can google on anything right so it is the policy of india to save its own coal reserves for future and import it from other countries first statement india is always respected in the international arena as an principled country if it is us i would have marked it right if it is china i would have marked it right no this is the rule actually in fact what is us doing right now it is conserving its resources it is taking it all, taking every resource from the middle east what is china doing the same thing one day when rare earth materials gets its this one due it is the us and the china who get benefited especially the china so that is the reason this first statement basic understanding common sense tells me india is not such a country right you should believe that as well so with that one is wrong so one gone one year so even without reading the next set of questions the answer is 2 and 3 only so it is not necessary for you to know that so much to that extent one common sense again basic understanding you should know that our coal is of not that good quality the uh, coal content is low clear this one bureau of energy efficiency star on which of the following can you find the bureau of energy efficiency star label what all any electronic gadget will come up with that mark right so all of the above so the answer is 1 2 and 3 fine again this does not require any technical you don't have to be an engineer you don't have to be a science graduate arts students also can do provided you have something called as common sense clear in india use of whatever very difficult words forget it viewed with apprehension so the word is apprehension what do you mean by apprehension there is a skeptic you are skeptical there is a fear in that so with that obviously when you fear something you will not use it on your face as cosmetics you will not eat it right this is common sense in uh, i think 2016 there was one this question on uh, lead they they said lead is poisonous one of the statement then they said uh, it is used in pencils if it is poisonous and if it is used in pencils do you think they'll produce pencils with lead children will always eat it right half of it is eaten and half of them would have died or population control without even having two child policy would have come down so common sense tells me that it cannot be used on your cosmetic anything that is you have a fear apprehension Should not be used on your face or your body, 
and you cannot eat that simple common sense again right so with that processed food food ripening moisturizing agents all this will get eliminated pesticides in agriculture this is the answer but there can be students very brilliant students who can say this also goes we eat right and still they can mark even this as wrong so where is the answer here ha huh? what are pesticides they are used to kill weeds so they are there that, that it is still fine because pesticides are used to kill insects disease i mean control disease pest control all that right so the purpose there is completely different so the answer is a for ahmedabad so students especially arts non science this words will create that fear before coming to this word apprehension the apprehensions are created in the this term itself so most of them what they do is they leave that question itself but if you are a sensible again if you can use your common sense this tells me this word the keywords that is the reason i said grammar the fourth rule the fourth rule will help you in identifying such questions am i clear here what is the answer there is a common rule which says every rule has an exception right nothing is absolute you have liberty it's not absolute you have fundamental right that's not absolute right this is my company i am the founder but that doesn't mean that i can do anything and everything that i wish i can also be harming the company because of that right so every rule has an exception with going with that just this words forget about whether it's herbivores carnivores omnivores viviparous oviparous homo sapiens etc etc this sum will tell me 1 2 3 clear am i clear i hope you are able to connect i hope you are able to understand so let me see how many students clear anyway you have given your names we'll see how many clear the prelims exam this year evaglu kannada artha agutha ಕೇಳಕ್ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇರೋದು ಕಷ್ಟ ರೈಟ್ ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ so this one tell me the answer currency see forget about all the words what is the keyword here yeah what is the keyword here id question paper kuda pa students ha huh? currency crisis let us assume like you have a currency crisis what will you do forget about india you have a currency crisis what will you do you borrow or you know, why will you lend idiots <laughs> yaar <laughs> why will you lend when you have currency crisis hey, only ambani can do that even if he has crisis ambani adani we are not to that level we are all from middle class family most of us there can be some rich kids here and there that is exception every rule has an exception right so we coming from middle class family if i have a currency crisis what will i do i'll reduce my expenditure and if somebody gives me i'll buy both the arms or hands i'll take it with that let us say the first statement the foreign currency earnings of india's it sector reducing this will reduce the risk that is what it is saying so obviously the foreign currency will help anything that is incoming will help increasing the government expenditure wrong as i said you will not spend so two is gone so you are left with this remittances from india's abroad again it is coming to india anything that is incoming reducing the expenditure is your answer so 1 and 3 that is b is your answer clear is it clear artha akti janra pa with reference to cultivation of karif crops in india in the last 5 years 199% i would have, they would have left this question what is the key here ಸೊ ನಾನು ಏನು ಹೇಳಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡಿಪೆಂ
right the way you look at the question will give you an hint especially this will happen in upsc questions most importantly namage enagutte when we are framing we know that you will think in this direction so we try to complicate it asta but in upsc they are not like that they want you in just that you are not getting that hint fine it is an invisible hand helping you you are not trusting that hand sorry hmm hmm what steadily decreased adal en idu it's a very general statement there's nothing extreme in that uh, statement okay then hmm any other, any clue you can get i want you guys to apply the apply your brains ad idukku solpa i mean your basic understanding should be good enough yeah no tell me which statement is wrong here or do you think all the statements are right how, how many say all the statements are right here ha huh? how many say all the statements are right you don't have to be scared any clue at least tell me if you do not know so that i can tell you the answer quickly ha huh? why yeah that is the actually the thing is jowar is one crop what is oil seeds multiple crops rape seed mustard groundnut right soya beans ev many everything like there are some 6 7 or more than that which class which are classified under oil seeds so nowhere in the world nowhere using common sense we can say one crop is more than the other so it's multiple crops oil seeds so this says the area under cultivation of jowar is more than that of oil seeds so as i said oil seeds are different parts so there are seven eight crops grouped under the term oil seeds obviously what will happen more number of crops more the area that is my general understanding so this is wrong 2 2 2 so answer is 1 and 3 so that is the reason i always told you when you are when you are coming up with such questions see which which option is common across all of them that is 2 2 and 2 so read that question once again try to apply your common sense try to apply your basic understanding and if that is eliminated you get the answer directly you will not even be wasting your time on this because this is a really difficult question rice cultivation i don't know what is happening with that cotton cultivation i really do not know sugar cane i do not know jowar i do not know but my common sense will prevail here am i clear yeah which of the following review the independent regulators in sectors like telecommunication etc so basically they are talking about regulatory bodies so this five statements what which one is wrong Which one is not a regulatory body here? Yeah, Niti Aayog is a think tank. Finance Commission only guides you on distribution of finance resources. So three and five is gone. So three five three five shit. Dwarka ki gana pa? Huh? yeah so when it strike out 3 and 5 so 3 all these are gone 1 and 2 is the answer clear so that is what so regulatory bodies so with that knowledge as i said try to identify the keywords and try to relate this statements with that or the options with this so either one of them you will get the answer clear with reference to land reforms in independent india which one of the following statement is correct first of all you should understand what is land reform in a land reform gender yeah what okay what is the major aim of land reforms yeah security to the landless giving them equal opportunity and status to them or redistribution of whatever land you have this is the basic concept of land reforms with that let's look into the first statement ceiling laws are aimed at family holdings and not individual holdings 
doubtful let's keep it aside the major aim of land reforms was providing agricultural land to all the landless this is an extreme statement let me keep it on hold it resulted in cultivation of cash crops here when we were dying for food crops right where green revolution all that happened where is cash crops here so it's gone land reforms permitted no exemptions to the ceiling limits every rule as an exception so please keep this in mind that will help you a lot so two options are gone so here which one is right why why a why b why a why b reasons you have to give me reasons ah huh? sumne wild guess intla adalla madakagala you have to give me a reason yeah nothing like that yaar any vision comes with the aim of like is baba comes with the vision of getting rank one from any of the places so our vision is always be idealistic but we have achieved it 16 17 and all so what i'm trying to say is the major aim of land reforms was providing agricultural land whether did it achieve or not that is a secondary but what is the objective of that scheme or objective of that program is to provide land to all the landless so going with that option is b b for bangalore am i clear which one of the following crops here many would have left this question i think 99 or 100 because you, what is what is new world and old world here any idea about this yeah what is new world old world do you need to know what is that to ma mark this answer obviously no but then what is the answer here yeah Amer america and uh, us and the uh, europe one is new one is old there for let's forget let that i do not know what is this new and old word just the word new and old old is something that we have been knowing since old ancient times let's go with that logic common sense see uh, let's go with for down rubber coffee and wheat wheat is something that was known since uh, indus valley times so it says which uh, plant was domesticated in the new world and introduced so introduced in the old world so it was not domesticated in the new world it was already known to us so this option is wrong cotton coffee cotton was known it was there in the old world itself i mean basically we knew it from the ancient time so this is gone again cotton is there it is ruled out so the only thing that came in the new world would be tobacco cocoa and rubber so wheat cotton i think even rice all gets classified into the old world that is during the ancient times so with going with that logic of new and old just going with the logic of new and old i'll get the answer a as the right answer am i clear i hope you are able to understand if you are getting a doubt please do ask me a question ease of doing business very easy question when you are when there is a business set up what you will do you have to register you have to pay taxes right all that you have to get some permits uh, licenses to start your business so going with that logic all the three are right maintenance of law order does not come under ease of doing business so a is the answer here am i clear in the context of any country which one is following would be considered social capital which of the uh, whatever following would be considered social capital what is social capital yeah ha huh? hey, can you give me any example of social capital have you come across it did it help you anywhere there is also something known as human capital always try to understand such terms what is social capital yeah so yeah it's more about belief trust factor all that <coughs> see for example you have to visit a doctor you have to join your kid to the school obviously you'll you'll google one is you'll google but still you will ask your friends who have been to that doctor you will ask your relatives who have joined your their children to that school so that is called social trust and harmony getting it so the social capital is nothing but it's an intangible thing human capital is also intangible something that you cannot touch what is human capital 
the skills experience your problem solving skills all that is called as human capital similarly social capital also which is based on mutual trust i go to that doctor because i trusted one of my friend i go to that institution because there are students who have joined because they have got the friends have got them near most of them are through references that is because that is called social capital the trust factor so going with that logic the level of mutual trust and harmony in the society simple am i clear as per industrial employment central rules 2018 so obviously this is a little tough question but if you look at after 1991 how are the industrial policy changing how is it how is it changing it, yeah it privatization more market is getting open efficiency they are trying to bring in efficiency so what will happen it will favor the person who is setting up the industry so that it is easy for him to remove somebody right employ anybody and remove the exit policy should be very easy for the employer so that is the logic here i hope you got my logic after the 1991 reforms the industrial policy started favoring the market forces started favoring efficiency with that as the logic what will happen the employer should have the rights to remove anybody who is not efficient of course there are protection protections given but still what i am trying to say the overall industrial policy goes with that logic right with that understanding if rules for fixed term employment are implemented it becomes easier for the firm's company to lay off so it is helping the owner or it is helping basically it is helping the industrial sector for the, the owner will have the right to move his pawn so this one is right right easier for the firms companies to lay off work workers no notice termination of employment will be necessary in case of temporary workmen again easy exit policy so both the statements both one and two is right of course this is little difficult to answer but you should always try to understand what does green what is this green revolution all about what is this industrial policy all about you should have that basic understanding only if your, your concepts are very clear then such questions can be answered if not you cannot even touch this question as i said the market forces efficiency easier for somebody to recruit based on the merit merit is given importance easy to remove somebody if he is not he or she is not performing that's what happens in private sector no is baba somebody is not good providing me good content the next month is removed i have an easy to because efficiency i care about efficiency that is what applies here am i clear wearable technology what is wearable technology see i don't need to know what i mean uh, apart from that general understanding of wearable technology i don't have to know the me internal mechanics all that a generalist upsc expects a generalist clear so your what is wearable technology your general understanding of wearable technology something that you wear right which is i mean uh, it can be fitbit smart watches right your bluetooth all that comes under wearable technology so obviously this one will help you it will monitor your sleep quality heart rate etc so all of the above so 1 2 3 clear yeah what i'll do is since now i've given you enough hint on how to solve and all i'll give you 10 minutes because some of the questions i've already covered okay there are how many questions here 18 in that quite a few is covered so i'll give you 10 minutes you apply whatever i've told you till now and try to solve it then we'll discuss again so that will make it more meaningful because you will always feel that you have understood but only when it comes when when you start applying it comes the difficulty and do it on your own please don't talk to your friends don't get the help of your friends apply your own thought process because your friend will not come and write your exam there it was easy to mark okay we are done with this question right okay in the context see the questions might be jumbled up but i think those questions are there go to cirrus cloud thinning see all that whatever words they are just forget it which is the keyword here cloud thinning and stratosphere so the first statement creating the artificial rains in some region is it right cloud thinning and artificial rains are opposite to, to each other when the clouds grow 
it starts raining when the clouds get heavy it starts raining so when you thin the clouds what will happen there won't be any rainfall this is again common sense so t- this tells me both the statements are opposite so this is wrong second statement reducing the frequency and intensity of tropical cyclones tropical cyclones are not formed in stratosphere troposphere so this is gone solar winds it is in the ionosphere so stratosphere and this one doesn't link so this is gone so finally i'm ending with reducing the global warming i hope all of you have got it right how many of you have got it wrong kelu be questions taalme irbeku what i'm trying to say before that only you're raising your hand so this uh, M, what do you say urgency you know that might lead to negative scores in prelims because i'll give my own uh, example uh, i think in 2011 12 on uh, one of my favorite subjects polity itself right so there was this question which of the following uh, falls under directive principles of state policy so four principles that given and the, the next one the, the next page said which of the above is correct so obviously all the four were dpsp i marked all of the above but actually the question the question was asking which of the above falls under gandhian principles of dpsp there are three gandhian liberal intellectual so that happens with because of over confidence or urgency or in that subject because it is my favorite subject i hardly spent 2 seconds i just skim through it marked d but still i cleared but not everybody will be lucky like that right there will be human error one question two it is fine but if it is go if it goes beyond that then only god should save you clear even god cannot save you there right no matter how many puja you do how many temples you run temple run nothing will happen right because there are there were friends during our time there were there was some temple famous temple where in you have to go 100 rounds or some rounds there that you will clear really i have forgotten that because it's long back one decade back almost so there were so many beliefs there is to go there i think it was in odisha or some there is to go to kerala everywhere there is to go but still none of them have cleared <laughs> right so you need to have presence of mind application hard work hard effort along with that blessings of your parents and god then you will clear right if you are going with 90% on parents blessings and uh, god you will not clear right you should put 90% should be your effort 10% that luck you said right it all falls under that when your karma <coughs> you know you not paying the fees properly to us all that no that will haunt you so <laughs> yeah let's move, move on to the next one official poverty line or higher what do you mean by poverty line should have that understanding basic understanding hmm? simple terms what is it the minimum amount that you can that you can have to spend on your basic needs basically that is what is poverty so minimum say 100 rupees in 100 rupees can you have food clothing and shelter this is what the poverty line basically means so uh, you know given here official poverty lines are higher in some states than in other states again using common sense i can get this answer right poverty rates vary from state to state there's nothing as such prices price levels vary from state to state this can be a reason because price levels at different places can be different based on that the poverty lines can change it is directly related to it because there are like fuel prices there are i mean just giving you an example fuel prices differs from one state to another anything for that matter uh air cut may differ from one place to another whatever it is groceries might differ right then there's nothing to do with gross state product i mean gs i mean uh, state state gdp there's nothing to do with quality of public distribution also doesn't come into picture the only answer that i can get is price levels vary from state to state next question for the measurement estimation of which of the following satellite images remote sensing data is used so how does this work actually this technology works how does satellite work a satellite work based on different energy levels if you know that what are satellites they are the eyes of the sky right they are there they are looking down upon all of us so try to always try to understand things in very simple terms right so they work on based on different energy levels whatever frequency they are energy is getting emitted say even from our body every everything emits energy and whenever it there's a, a difference in energy is what it records basically so going by that logic all the three are right because from the land surface 
ग्रीन हाउस गैस फ्रॉम द राइस पार्टीज टू द क्लोरोफिल कंटेंट एवरीथिंग एमिट्स एनर्जी एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स बेस्ड ऑन दैट द सैटेलाइट वर्क्स क्लियर एम आई क्लियर सी दैट्स व्हाट व्हाट रीजंस आई एम गिविंग एंड व्हाट रीजंस यू हैव थॉट व्हेन यू आर मार्किंग दैट आंसर राइट और रॉन्ग इररिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ राइट और रॉन्ग दैट इज व्हाट यू शुड मैच आई हैड गिवन यू 10 मिनट्स टू थिंक ऑन योर ओन सो व्हाट यू हैव थॉट एंड व्हाट आई एम थिंकिंग देयर इज ऑब्वियसली देयर विल बी अ गैप वेदर यू आर गेटिंग इट राइट और रॉन्ग दैट इज सेकेंडरी फॉर मी but the reason that you are giving your understanding of that concept the way i look at things the way you look at things that is where the difference is clear context of polity so that becomes important because when you say just liberty absence of restraint opportunity to do whatever you like will be the answer but it says in the context of polity which of the following would you accept as the most appropriate definition of liberty so i have already said the b and c is one right just because you like something like somebody you cannot keep doing whatever you want to right so these two statements are gone protection against tyranny of political rulers to an extent right but more than that opportunity to develop oneself even the fundamental duties one of the duties says develop to your optimal self clear so this is the answer yeah this one what is the answer for this yeah why one only as per the law compensatory afforestation fund management and planning authority exists at both national and state levels what reason tells me that first statement is right or wrong yeah yeah somebody was saying yeah forest comes under concurrent list that is enough see i am again saying anywhere it can help it can though it can be a polity question though it can be an environment question polity can help me geography can help me economics can help me science and tech can help me always treat gs as one subject don't try to divide it into polity geography history economics one or gs 1 2 3 4 entire gs is one subject current affairs is the other subject optional is the other third subject entire upsc you should try treat it this way only when you treat it this way your overall understanding should be so strong it's not like you are going to gs2 paper that you are mugging up only gs2 facts it doesn't work like that right it's a comprehensive knowledge of all the papers put together is what will help you and that is the reason elimination method i said it is not only on that only all that will not go those days are gone it is all on your basic understanding conceptual understanding general knowledge general awareness common sense elimination always try to give that priority i hope things have made sense till now yeah so this comes becomes right because it is in the concurrent list so obviously when it is in concurrent list it will be both at the center and the state level program people's participation is mandatory see you can make the gram sabha gram panchayat mandatory but not people you cannot say all people should do, do this all people should go for war nobody will listen right it will go to a civil war again so obviously this statement is wrong people's participation if it is gram sabha gram panchayat you can because that's a government organization here it is say it says people's part participation is mandatory which is wrong so extreme statement again so one only am i clear mm hmm mm hmm public that is fine then it is right but here the question doesn't speak about that no hmm that both are different public hearing is different people's participation being mandatory in this one it is different yeah this one again here again common sense with uh, obviously there's nothing like right to marry none, none of the fundamental rights speaks about right to marry right to have kids and all right so obviously it is which article 21 right to life encompasses everything right to be silent right to marry somebody right to uh, have kids how many kids you want all that it depends on article 21 right so there is nothing to do with 19 so don't some of them might get confused with 19 but there is nothing to do with 19 it's more about freedom of speech expression your movement your profession it talks about that yeah i think this i have already explained pyrolysis right pyrolysis fire or in breaking down of the energy that's nothing but waste to energy technology waste to energy technology 
with reference to asian infrastructure investment bank considered the following statements so this year here you need to know a little bit of uh, about aib also to an extent apart from that let's see how we can eliminate and get it right aib has more than 80 countries let's say i do not know how many countries are there right and the int is infrastructure whenever it's an infrastructure project you need huge investment infrastructure projects capital investment is always huge so usually it has more countries but let us keep this second one india is the largest shareholder in aib why when there is china we cannot be the largest we are always second to china in terms of that the money that they have the power that they have is obviously you have to accept it it is much slightly at least higher than us so obviously with that knowledge tells me second is wrong so i'll eliminate b and d but still i get i can get confused with one only and one and three aib does not have any member again it's it's too strong a statement is also there but when i said infrastructure whenever there is infrastructure both developed and developing countries come together with that logic and that little bit of understanding i'll get this also this is what aib does not have any this is wrong so the answer is one only it it has both it has russia it has germany so all of them it has petroleum is the first regulatory body set up by government of india is it obviously it is wrong see petroleum or something all this are recently done like bank 1934 before even independence it came as a body regulatory body after that there were many other regulatory bodies so petroleum is something that was discovered later onwards 1960s 70s onwards so obviously it cannot be the first regulatory body of india that with that logic one is wrong one 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 gone i don't even have to read second and third i'll get the answer two and three b for bangalore is the answer got it yeah yeah why why are you even reading that when i when i say one is wrong one 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 b is my answer i don't have to even argue on that no see don't uh, that's what i'm saying please don't overthink simple you know this is wrong you are eliminating this and this then what else you are left with it cannot be e it cannot be f it is only a b c d am i clear the economic cost of food grains to the fci is minimum price plus bonus paid to the farmers plus what else basically what is economic cost the cost at which the fci procures so it says msp is one cost it takes any bonus paid that also it takes apart from that which is the most appropriate statement here yeah yeah obviously the words are identical obviously most of them will say this two is wrong and they'll get to c or d so in c and d which is the answer which is more elaborate which is more comprehensive yeah c is the answer distribution cost see what is procurement incidentals is nothing but the labor that is paid while you have to procure obviously you need certain labor so that is nothing but the incidental cost then distribution cost is nothing but storage transportation distribution all that comes together so this is more comprehensive than this one here it only talks about charge of goods is nothing but your storage cost this is only your storage cost here it includes your transportation your distribution your storage everything so this is more comprehensive so c is the answer for this So 2019 is done. We'll quickly go to 2018. Fine. So 2018 paper you can distribute. I'll give you how many questions are there? Here are there. Now, Kudu, there are 22 questions. 22 questions. Since the questions are easy, where conceptual understanding all that is not required, I'll give you 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I'll ask you at the end of 15th minute. fine then we can get back to the discussion i'll give you 15 minutes 22 questions are there pretty easy questions so you will not require so much of time so which of the following leaf modifications occur in the desert areas to inhibit water loss so what is the funda here hmm so the surface level should be less. the lesser the surface area lesser is the water loss that with going with that understanding hard and waxy leaves lesser the surface tiny leaves lesser the surface 
thorns instead of leaves all that will reduce your water evaporation so going with that 1 2 going with that 1 2 The next one, the staple commodities of export by the English East Indian Company from the Bengal in the middle of 18th century. So it's around 1750s. So it dates back to 1750s. <coughs> Raw cotton, oil seeds, opium. Cotton is fine. Yeah. raw cotton oil seeds opium yeah oil seeds is nothing i mean not much of production then it dates back to 1750s so ruled out sugar salt zinc lead copper silver gold all these are what minerals to be mined and it requires a large scale we didn't have that equipment or instruments to mine during those days so this is also ruled out the only thing that is left was cotton silk opium see salt peter whether you know it or not it is secondary for me it doesn't matter because all three are ruled out the only option that you can get is d am i clear yeah going with that logic so try to understand because obviously this one you will not get it in any history book you read it yeah what what oil seeds oil seeds is ruled out how much are we producing see only when it is produced in first of all even now we import lot of oil seeds because the production is less and going back to 1950s and all sorry 1750s and all it is even more lesser so that is the reason this is ruled out clear so nowhere in any books you will get this answer it's all about your understanding basic understanding how do you apply it one is your understanding the second part is your application of knowledge clear am i clear describes carbon fertilization so what is the keyword here fertilization forget even carbon let's let me not understand word okay let me not know what is carbon fertilization at least i know the word fertilization so always when you read a question try to understand the common words properly what is fertilization to create to grow to fertilization you fertilize something to grow to increase your knowledge whatever it is it basically it means to grow you reuse fertilizers in crops in agriculture to grow right so with that the first option directly tells me increase plant growth due to increased concentration so this is the best example for the word carbon fertilization am i clear the rest of the the options are ruled out human capital i have already explained what is human capital intangible things that is your experience your creativity your technical skills your problem solving skills so these are called human capital this comes under human capital so here which is what is the answer here ha huh? what is the answer here individuals of a country this is wrong second statement increase of knowledge skill levels and capacities of people of the country is right accumulation of tangible wealth wrong accumulation of intangible wealth is as i said it's intangible something that you cannot feel or touch so 2 and 4 is the answer that is c for calcutta am i right am i sorry am i clear yeah i'll be right just that the choice of words are wrong yeah consider the following statements again this is like polity but still if you are reading newspaper also you can still mark it in the first lok sabha the single largest party in the opposition was let me uh, because i am i'm not sure of this i'll just keep it on hold in the lok sabha leader was the first time in 1969 that also i'm not sure third one if the lok sabha if a party does not have as i said c3 is common here in the four options 3 c is common 3 3 3 so this does not have a minimum of it's more it's like single party should have at least minimum 10% so 3 is wrong so i'm i'm getting two as the answer yeah even this one seems to be very tough question but if you use your common sense you'll get the answer right 
with statement is wrong here let's say 2 is here 2 is here 2 is here so what i'll do first when i read this question obviously it sounds uh, greek and latin to me what i'll do is i'll go to the options i'll see 2 2 2 here so i'll make sure whether 2 is right or wrong first of all so if 2 is wrong then it tells me i mean it gives me the answer right out of the total agriculture households in the country a little over 60% say 62% 63% belongs to obc is it too exaggerated a statement nobody from a single community can be 60 to 63 or 65% of the complete agricultural or rural households so that's a too extreme statement right so i'm marking it wrong so i get the answer 1 and 3 only am i clear are you able to understand the concept or the logic on which i'm eliminating there's nothing like a wild guess here you'll go wild you'll not clear right so it is something called as again common sense woods dispatch see it is applicable in even subjects like polity history all that provided that you read my only humble request is please read all the 100 questions make sure you read go through all the 100 questions there are more likely chances that you will clear the exam if you are going through all the 100 questions with that three a's attitude aptitude and the third a absence of disturbance which is very important with that calm mind only then you will be able to think clearly presence of mind no matter how much you struggle now you would have studied 10 hours 12 hours on the day of the exam all that it requires is those two two hours to make or break your career clear so it, that presence of mind is very important so for that you have to inculcate that on a daily basis or the weekly test that we give clear so whether you know it or do not know though in the first round you might skip please make sure that at least in the second round you come you go across all the 100 questions clear so woods dispatch obviously you know that it's related to education that is one side let us look into the option 3 is here 3 is here 3 is here right said what is okay yeah. yeah we have to prove whether the statement is right or wrong english is a medium of instruction at all levels it's a too extreme statement at all levels first of all the education system that british introduced was not for the benefit of indians we should know that core feelings of china core feelings of pakistan core feelings of usa similarly the core feelings of british that common sense you should have obviously they are not doing some favor for us they wanted certain pe- people who can be a link between them and the common masses they wanted indian to be in that subordinate role triple r you have seen right no matter how efficient uh, that character was he was not getting that post that he wanted to i hope you have seen you watch movies you learn right so kantar how many of you have seen watch hmm so not watch do watch i'm not the brand ambassador but uh, do watch it's a nice movie you have to watch you have to take a break every week at least after 5 pm or 6 pm on sunday it is for you you do whatever you want you want to roam around with your friends boyfriends girlfriends whatever it is do it right but next day you come you don't come with your friend and study it will not happen so you have to come back but with the same renewed energy so that that energy will sustain for the next one week again sunday you take a break come out with the same energy zeal the next week or else you will not complete the journey at all you will get exhausted and when the right when it is the right time to pick see this also you should understand today there is a semi final also yeah but uh, <laughs> yeah but uh, even i i have work i have i have meeting with the interview students so my day goes with that so if there's any of your friends who are in who are uh, written mains they can come and meet me at 3 i'm meeting all the interview students so <coughs> just like the game of cricket right you need to know how to pace your innings when to hit singles doubles when to start slogging just like dhoni or Vir- dhoni plays right or even virat kohli for that matter they know when to slog 
I hope you understand the word slog, slogging. Hitting fours and sixes is called slogging in that cricket terms, right? So now if you start slogging, you'll get out like Sehwag, right? You should know when to start hitting that four and sixes. That is during the last two months. Where when I mean four and sixes, it means twelve hours of study you can do, thirteen hours of study you can do, provided you maintain the consistency of six to eight hours. Now your body will support, your mind will support, everything will support if you maintain that consistency. But if you are not maintaining that consistency, consistency now, and you start, you try, try to peak at that moment, last two months, you there will be a lot of pressure because you have not studied in the last five six months, and now in two months you cannot. It's not like that. We have tried in engineering days. I am from R V College, one of the best colleges in Bangalore or even Karnataka. So we used to study for fifteen uh, days. That study holidays we used to get. Still used to get F C D, but that doesn't apply in U P S C. Do you might be the brilliant of the lot, all that. It doesn't apply in UPSC. You can come from IIT, you can come from AIMS, you can come from IIMS, the best of the institutions, but that will not apply in UPSC. That is what you need to understand, right? I always keep saying consistency can beat talent. Consistency can beat talent. That is what you should understand. There is no other mantra than consistency. Your talent will go for a waste. Clear? So make sure that consistency is there. You need to pace your innings. Now you have to study at least for minimum seven to eight hours, or six to eight hours at least minimum. Then last two months, three months, you have to slog. That is the time you have to change your gears. Go to eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours. Your body will still support. There are toppers. Some of the toppers will say, "We I have studied only for one hour, two hour. That doesn't apply, right? If you are following them, you are the most foolish uh, person who is preparing for UPSC." Other lot which say who say I have used to study for fourteen fifteen hours that is not humanly impossible. If you are doing that, you will be in Nimans. There is a hospital by name Nimans in uh, Bangalore, mental hospital. So that will lower. That is what will happen. So that is the reason I said breaks. Everybody talks about revision, making plan, daily targets, all that. But breaks are much 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 important, which people don't understand. Break is very important so that you come up with the same energy zeal the next week, and that has to happen every week. You should take that break. Right, the break should not be like the entire day, but or two days. Right, you go to Goa and come all that. That that can happen once you clear the exam. You do whatever you want. Your parents will support. Everybody will support. Clear. So you should know what is your zone properly. You should understand. See, that is the reason I say more than the luck factor. Understanding the demand of the exam, understanding yourself is very very crucial and important to clear this exam. Why do I say understanding yourself? Because you should know what time you wake up. I mean, in the sense, what time your mind is very fresh. Some some people are very active in the night. For what reason, I do not know. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, if that reason is for a better purpose for UPSC, then it is good. Some of them are active in the morning. Some of them afternoon. So nobody is active. Right, at least evening time they become active. So you should know when you are at the most uh, fresh or when you are at the peak time. That is the time where you have to take the toughest subject, be it optional, be it your GS. Don't read newspaper at that time. This it's a simply a waste of time. You have to read newspaper or current affairs when you are feeling very bored, dull, saturated. That is the time you pick up newspaper. You'll find it a fresh, clear. So you need to. That is the reason you should understand yourself. Whether you are that night person, morning person, evening person, or you are a person of accuracy, there are people. There, there, there was one of my friend during our preparation days. She used to mark fifty-five or fifty-six, and she used to get fifty-four right. So that was the accuracy. Obviously, I, I was not of that uh, character. I used to mark ninety. I know twenty, twenty-five would be wrong, and I used to still clear. At the end of the day, it doesn't depend whether which strategy works out for you. You should clear. Right, you might miss out by five marks, six marks, one mark, two marks. At the end of the day, are you an IAS, IPS? That's what matters, or IFS, whatever your services preference are. So, <coughs> yeah, why did I get into all this? Yeah, cricket. <coughs> so there are things that you have to learn. You have to you can learn a lot from. Uh, I don't know if you are following me on Insta or Twitter. Cricket, so I'm. A fan of it, so I put keep putting life lessons. I'll relate a lot with uh, cricket and the people there. They are the real heroes, not Shahrukh Khan, Salman Khan, 
or your uh, rocky ish or uh, all that because they act but these people are actually performing on the pitch that is the reality clear so <coughs> i have good inspirations and as i said take adequate breaks revise properly know yourself better when you know yourself better and exam better there are more chances that you will clear because you will be making your plan according to your strengths and weakness not according to the topper rank 5 rank 3 rank 2 right even they would not know that they are the toppers because i have interacted from rank 1 to all 800 rank student it is they themselves will not know that they'll get rank 1 that that year so that is the state so you need to <coughs> understand that your plan and strategy should be according to your own strengths and weakness not according to a toppers strategy or toppers uh, strength and weakness see whatever we say you believe have you gone and sat, sat with the topper have you seen the topper studying once you become a topper no then they'll say see the topper used to sit like this walk like this it starts with that that is how it is wow, what's your name anand yeah so till anand clears the exam it is a normal strategy when anand it's just anand strategy once he gets a rank it becomes topper strategy at the end of the day it's all about that so try to work on your own strengths weakness make a proper plan always have daily targets hourly targets hourly targets are very important hourly and daily targets once you wake up in the morning try to see what you have read in the next previous day try to just recollect in 5 10 minutes make a plan in the next 10 minutes for that day so 20 minutes you spend like that right and have uh, <coughs> hourly targets or like 1 hour 1 1 and a half hour 2 hours make sure that you sit at a place for 2 hours why 2 hours you have to sit in the exam for 2 hours basic basic things you have to because some people know they get agitated after one hour one and half an hour they want to get out of the hall right whether you are clearing or not clearing that is secondary but so you should not get into that because then your mind doesn't work so you have to train that is condition your mind to sit at a place for two hours do that every after every one slot of study make sure that you reflect and recollect what you have read so that should happen revision and uh, actually thinking is not something that happens with your preparation that is the problem i have read for 2 hours on parliament i should start reflecting on what i have read what the author is trying to say is it right or wrong is there any different view to it how can i link it with current affairs or my optional so that thinking process should happen when you are thinking you will also be recollecting so both things happen at the same time reflection is nothing but thinking recollection is nothing but revision so this should happen after every slot and when you sleep in the night also try to see whether whatever you have, just try to glance if possible right sometimes you try to i mean see what is happening and you uh, fall to sleep that is that will also happen right but at least try to see what you have read and when you are sleeping ask one question to yourself what is that question i think i would have told it many a times yeah what what will you ask do i have nice dinner then what will you ask yourself ha huh? did i give my 100% today all that you have to ask is and be very honest do be brutally honest with yourself right you have to be brutally honest with yourself only then you will be successful in your life at least to yourself if you are not honest to others at least be honest to your own self did i give my 100% today whatever i have planned in that 10 minute in the early morning did i do it that should prick you if it doesn't prick you then you have become a stone there is no point in preparing for upsc you have to quit your journey right at least that sensitive you should be because your parents would have spent lakhs of rupees lot of dreams into it right everybody is looking up to you so many things are there and you are wasting your time right with xyz re- reason which is not at all important for the exam you have come here with a purpose keep that purpose in mind and do as i said you take a break it's 8 uh, hours you can easily study per day the rest of the time it's yours only you know fine okay enough of gyan uh i think you got this answer so again as i said you don't have to know everything even this general statement is enough i don't have to know history to get this answer right that's what i am been trying to tell you there are simple questions which you need to identify and every year there are 15 to 20 such questions which will help you to clear the exam clear again 
<coughs> this become this goes with the understanding of geography or even organic matter when it is more it will try to hold the water right it will hold the solid soil particles together with that knowledge high content of organic matter in soil drastically reduces water holding that is wrong completely wrong first statement is wrong one is gone one is gone one is gone so oh shit so what is the answer three only whether i know the rest it's secondary always see which one repeats try to prove that right or wrong if it's wrong more chances that you get that answer right upsc gives an int all that you have to do is how do you see that int is what finally helps you to clear the exam the rest of the questions are based on your knowledge these are the questions that you can answer this way which of the following areas can gps technology be used see all this are very simple it can be used for uh, what is gps used for identifying the location wherever it is wherever the equipments are put etc banking operations mobile phone operations so all of the above clear first statement other card can be used as a proof of citizenship this is general awareness can be can it be used as citizenship ha huh? no so first answer is wrong actually the tough questions are this one only two only both one and two neither one and two because you should know both the uh, statements so the first one is common sense not common sense general awareness here i'll say general awareness if you have read newspapers and all there is no this is not used as a proof of citizenship nowhere once issued aadhar number cannot be deactivated or omitted what what if a fraud happens you go and complain obviously what will, what should happen just like debit card when you lose it can be deactivated it can be blocked similarly other also when a fraud happens or something like that happens they can obviously block so they obviously they'll have right so this statement is wrong so the answer is d neither one one or two both the statements are wrong is it clear wanna cry what makes you cry cyber attacks <laughs> really that is the logic i had applied so basically here it is that you don't have to read the rest of the things want to cry cyber attacks will make you cry that is the solution which of the following is possible consequence of heavy sand mining again basic understanding will get you this answer right what happens if there is uh, heavy mining in river beds will it decrease the salinity or increase the salinity it will increase the salinity the more you mine at that end the saline water or the sea water will rush in because of the sea water is saline salty fresh water is the river water so when there is more of mining that happens the water from the sea rushes to the fresh water so it will increase the salinity so one is wrong so gone 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 so the answer is 2 and 3 am i clear so that is the reason always look at the when things are given like this when you do not know look at the options wherever that common thing is there try to eliminate it again here both elimination technique and your common sense or your general understanding here it is general understanding more than common sense yeah this one it's a big question but one word in the question gives me an end to the answer what is that sub rules always try to identify those words sub rules is nothing but related to subordinate legislation that is enough that one word is an end for me to get the answer am i clear capital adequacy ratio what do, what does it mean even the english term let, let's uh, okay let's assume that you do not know what is cr your economics is not done just assume so what does it basically say the english meaning of capital adequacy ratio ha huh? you need to have adequate capital even during the crunch time you need to have adequate capital to balance out your spikes or risks basically so cr is the amount of the banks have to maintain in the form of their own funds to offset any loss that banks incur in the account holders fail to repay so that is the first statement is right cr is decided by each individual bank what will happen if each individual bank decide it leads to a very arbitrariness right one bank can have 2% one bank can have 20% one bank can have 30% 
So it, that is not how it works. That is the reason we have RBI which regulates all this, especially SLR, CRR, all that it is which RBI regulates. So the answer is one only. Main feature of rule of law, very simple. What is the answer for this? Rule of law means limitation of powers. Rule of law means equality before law. Rule of law means anything that is right, uh, like even liberty or even civil rights, which makes things common. That is rule of law. There is nothing to do with people's responsibility to the government. So the answer is three is gone. One, two, and four. That is C is the answer. This also again the word Swarajya. What does it say? Har rule, Har rule, Om rule. So directly it said it is nothing but All India Om Rule League. Going with with the word Hindi meaning of Swarajya, my rule, our rule, whatever it is, it is basically it is nothing but the Om rule itself. Clear? Which of the following spreads plant diseases? What is the option? Yeah. What is the logic? See, basically the logic is anything that is moving. Best example is coronavirus. We ourselves were moving and we were creating the disease. So anything that is moving will create the disease. Be it birds move, dust blowing, rain, mind, what is that? Wind. Wind blowing, everything leads to disease. Anything that moves around carries diseases. That is the logic on which I can get all of the above. Which of the following have occurred in India after its liberal, uh, liberalization of economic policy? Again, here you will not get the answer in any of the book, but you know what what is the meaning of LPG era, what happened during that time. With that understanding, you can get the answer right. So, its share of agriculture in GDP increased enormously. In fact, agriculture share started decreasing after LPG era because more importance was given to service sector. So, one is wrong. So, one year is gone here. So, either it is 2, 3, 4 and 2, 3. So, 2 and 3 is obviously it should be right because of the options. Not on my understanding, just because of the option. So, I have to just check whether 4 is right or wrong. India's foreign exchange reserves increased. Obviously, because more FDI, more the foreign reserve. So, going with this statement, this is also right. So, 2, 3, 4 is the answer. Clear? It might be, but uh, I still feel because FDI flows increased, because FDI foreign exchange also increased, enormously doubtful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you are saying this is right. Yeah, after its liberalization, it can given date back to 2020-22. So, if you look at that way, obviously it has increased enormously because it was at zero. From there, it what is the right value right now? Obviously, it has increased enormously. So, this is still right. So, the answer is 234. Democracy is super. See, this is not 2018, this is more of 2017. Few two, three questions have picked up. <coughs> democracy is superior virtue lies in the fact that it calls into activity what? The intelligence and character of ordinary men and women. In democracy, simple terms, people are supreme. So, people are given importance with that logic, direct. So, that understanding, basic understanding should be strong. Don't mug up what is democracy, federalism, all that. You should have it in very simple terms. Like I what I told you as satellites, they are the eyes of the sky. So, that under, to, to that level, you should understand. Local self-government can be best explained as an exercise in, yeah, federalism is nothing but two, two institutes, democratic decentralization is the answer, administrative delegation is just one part of dem uh, democratic decentralization because in democratic decentralization it includes financial, administration, legislation, all that. So, it is more comprehensive, direct democracy does not come at all because in direct democracy what happens? People are the ones who will decide, so there are no elected representatives. So, this is too far-fetched idea. So, the answer is democratic decentralization.
which of the following is most likely consequence of upi yeah see fdi and this one will does not have any connection at all so c is gone direct transfer of subsidies is also gone so you are left with a and b so what is the answer here directly it is very simple see this is like it is picked up from 2017 very simple questions just to give you a glimpse of 2017 two three very easy questions have just picked up last question for today last question is it what is m stripes directly says stripes is nothing but tiger direct question last i think this is the last right which one of the following reflect the most appropriate relationship between law and liberty so these kind of questions if you have looked at polity questions it is more please be silent if you look if you would have looked at polity questions in the last 5 years it is slowly turning to be philosophical and these are the kind of questions that are asked so you should have basic understanding of the entire preamble every word that is mentioned in the preamble right liberty uh, socialist democratic republic justice every word especially the fundamental rights see what is philosophy of constitution it is nothing but apart from preamble fundamental rights fundamental duties dpsp these four chapters you should know in and out of it you should have a very sound understanding of these concepts only then you'll be able to answer such questions like law liberty because they are trying to twist and turn the same concepts right so if you look at it the relation it is asking you to define the relationship between law and liberty so if there are more laws there is less liberty is it right or wrong yeah how is it right for example rti act we have acts like rti act what is it leading to more liberty right it is giving us more information so that is wrong first statement is wrong it can happen that more laws are there so that it gives us more freedom as an example that i gave you is rti act similarly there are many acts like that which can give you what i'm saying is possible cases you have to weigh both the pros and cons here so it can this is wrong it should be absolute only if it's absolute if there are no laws there is no liberty ha huh? let us keep it on hold if there is liberty laws have to be made by the people direct very vague statement just because it is liberty doesn't mean that we start making rules i can make any rule for that matter right obviously third is wrong very vague if laws are changed too often liberty is in danger hmm laws can be changed amended for betterment the liberty can be expanded there is no reason that laws have, will be changed only for curb curbing the liberty laws can keep changing because the amendment happens because of the current conditions so it can give you more freedom more liberty so this is gone so once you are done with this whether you have doubt or not the answer is b because here no laws what will if there are no laws what will happen to the society it becomes a jungle raj it becomes it leads to arbitrariness when there is so much of arbitrariness and jungle raj obviously there is no scope for liberty to play its role so with that understanding also i can mark it right or by elimination method also i can get this am i clear yeah yeah so uh, today we have completed uh, 2019 and 18 tomorrow i'll take up three papers so directly we'll get into the uh, uh, questions because today i have to give you introduction some gyan all that so tomorrow it will be more of uh, directly we'll solve the questions similarly i'll give you 15 minutes and then i'll explain it for half an hour again i'll give you 15 minutes so that will happen so in two hours so be on time today it's okay even i was late so <laughs> tomorrow be on time so 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock we'll complete it off all the three papers so we'll give you more confidence on looking at prelims that is very 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 important to crack this exam and as prelims is your first stepping stone right so keep these things in mind do come do all of you come don't miss out on the class because it will give you a different perspective on how you look at the question and especially tomorrow we are solving the last three years which is very very important can we apply the same logic that we used for 2019 18 can we apply it for the last 3 years as well so that's what we'll be looking in the next class clear i hope the session was helpful i hope the time was not wasted i hope you will all clear the exam and uh, i hope you are in that 1000 lot which we are targeted this year clear all the best and uh, thank you meet you tomorrow